What's up guys? Happy early Halloween. <laughs> In the spirit of Halloween, we're coming at you today with some vegan takes on classic candy bars. Not the healthiest, but they're candy bars, guys. You gotta indulge, you gotta enjoy yourselves. We're gonna have fun. So first up, so I don't know if you guys remember take five bars, but... I actually don't. I don't think I ever had one. I remember being in like fifth or sixth grade and going to the gas station, like the <laughs> convenience store there, and like ha finding it for the first time. And it's basically pretzels, chocolate, peanuts, peanut butter, and caramel. Five. And pff, unbelievable. So we got them right here. And then homemade vegan version, delicious. Yes. No, it's fine. I'm gonna keep talking. We made vegan crunch bars, so we just used chocolate, rice puffs, two ingredients, super easy. Look at that. Look at that rice. We made it fancy with a chocolate mold, so they got the those nice ridges. Really, really authentic. Um, not necessary at all, but I thought it'd be cool. And then we have one of my favorite bars growing up, Milky Ways. Uh, Snickers are better. These are Snickers. Wow. Snickers are Milky Way, guys. So, let us know down below. We realized that they're the same thing except Snickers have peanuts. So, we just made half a tray. Uh, we made a whole tray and then we only topped half with peanuts. We basically made half Snickers, half You'll see it in the Milky Way. Yeah, you guys can totally make two in one if you're going to make these recipes. It's time to party, isn't Let's it? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna get things started here by melting some chocolate using a double boiler. So essentially we have a larger pot with some boiling water. We're gonna add a smaller pot on top and then add our chocolate chips into there. It's important to note that we want to avoid getting any water inside of that smaller pot because the chocolate will start to harden up and we don't want that. We want that creamy, smooth, melted chocolate that we're seeing right here. So this will just take a few minutes. We'll just continue to stir it and once it's all melted, we'll take it off the boiler and add in our puffed rice cereal. We'll just mix that up until all of the chocolate is fully combined with that puffed rice. And now we'll take our chocolate molds. If you don't have chocolate molds, we have directions on our blog on how to make this recipe without them. And then we'll just pour all of the chocolate into the molds. We'll want it to spread as evenly as possible. And then once it's all in there, we'll spread the chocolate out on the mold making sure that each crevice is fully coated in chocolate. You can also give it a good shake to make sure there's no air bubbles. And once it looks like so, we'll just pop it into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to set. And once it's finished, we'll just take it out of the fridge, pop it right out of the mold. You want to be as careful as possible to make sure it doesn't break. Since we're using silicone molds, it should pop out pretty easily. And then there you have it. Look how beautiful they look. Sorry, Jasmine's hands are a little chocolatey, but that's kind of the reality when you're working with chocolate. We'll just give that a break open and admire its beauty. And there it is, as simple as that, vegan crunch bars. So next up, we're going to make some homemade vegan caramel. We will be using this in the remaining chocolate bars. So we're going to add some vegan butter to a pot and we're using Earth Balance here. Melt it until it is completely liquid and then we're going to add in some light brown sugar. Whisk that in, make sure everything is nice and uniform so that it's not clumpy and it's more easily dissolved later on. And then we're going to add in some coconut milk, this is full fat coconut milk, along with agave nectar. Whisk that again and for the remainder of the caramel process we're going to be whisking. We popped in a candy thermometer here and basically we're whisking until it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit. We have instructions on our blog if you don't have a candy thermometer, but it's highly recommended so that you get this to the perfect consistency. So once it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit, we are going to remove it from the pot and transfer it into a container. So we're just using a ramekin here. And the caramel does solidify when you let it sit and also when you refrigerate it. So later when you're adding it to the chocolate bars, you can just heat it up to make it a little more loose and easier to work with. All right, so let's move on to our Snickers and our Milky Way. So we have some oat flour here. This is gluten-free oat flour. We have some softened coconut butter, maple syrup, vanilla extract, and a little bit of salt. And that's it for the nougat. All you have to do is mix everything together until it is nice and uniform. You may need to use your hands here to knead the dough and make sure that it is nice and combined. 
And you'll see coming up that we're making Snickers and Milky Way in the same pan because if you didn't know, they are pretty much the same thing except Snickers has peanuts. So you'll see it when I continue doing this. So add the nougat to a lined baking dish. We're using a square eight by eight baking dish. And you're going to press the nougat in until it is nice and uniform. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure that it is as level as you can get it. Next up is to pour in the vegan caramel. And the caramel doesn't spread that easily, so you're just going to have to use a spatula to do it. it takes a little work, but it's not too bad. And then lastly, we're going to be adding in some peanuts, just to half the pan. So the left side here is the Milky Way, and the right side is going to be the Snickers. Place that into the refrigerator or the freezer for about 30 minutes to set, and then we're going to grab a cutting board and grab the candy bars to be and remove them from the pan. So once you have that all out of the pan, we're going to cut it straight down the middle to divide it into the Snickers and the Milky Way. And then we're going to cut each side into six pieces. You can make these thicker or thinner depending on your choice, your preference. You can also make them into squares as well. But we wanted to make them into bars because we just like it that way, I guess. So once you have everything cut, um, we're going to set that aside and we're actually going to melt some chocolate in a double boiler like we did earlier. So you just pop that in, pop the chocolate in, mix it up, and you are good to go here. And we're going to grab each individual candy bar with two forks and just dunk it into the melted chocolate, making sure to shake off any excess at the end. And then transfer this to a lined baking sheet. We lined our baking sheet with some parchment paper or silicone baking mat, either work. And you're going to do this for both the Milky Way and the Snickers. The step is exactly the same. I would just say try to shake off as much extra chocolate as you can so that it's not too thick and also you reserve chocolate to coat all of the bars. Pop this tray into either the refrigerator or the freezer to set. We let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes and you've got yourself a beautiful Milky Way bar. Look at that caramel. And also the Snickers bar as well. So are you guys team Snickers or team Milky Way? Let us know in the comments below. And finally, we're gonna make some Take 5 bars, which are my favorite candy bar growing up. We'll start out by adding some pretzels to a lined baking tray. Then we'll pour over some peanut butter. If the peanut butter you're using is a little bit too hard, you can add it to the microwave to loosen it up a bit. We'll want to spread that peanut butter out over the pretzels as carefully as possible. The pretzels will move around a bit, so just keep that in mind and be careful. And then we'll just pour some peanuts right over the top on the baking sheet. They'll stick right to the peanut butter, so you just want to evenly coat them as nicely as possible. Once it's fully coated, we'll pour over some of the caramel that we made earlier. Again, you just want to make sure it's all spread out evenly so you'll have nice and even bars when you're finished. We use a spatula to just spread that out. A nice thin layer works, or you can make it a little bit thicker too. Once it looks like that, you know you're good to go. And now we'll place this in the freezer for about 30 minutes to let it set. Once it's finished, we'll need a clean surface and our baking tray. We'll just carefully pop that out using the edges of the parchment paper. Using a sharp knife, we'll just evenly cut these into bars. You can make them into any size that you want. We decided to make them into smaller bites to kind of match the pretzels that we lined the tray with in the beginning. From here, we'll just take each piece and fully coat it in some melted dark chocolate. We'll use two forks. We found this is the easiest method to fully coat it without making a huge mess. Once the bars are fully coated in chocolate, we'll place them on a baking tray and then we'll place them in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're fully set. And now all that's left to do is dig in. These are super delicious, so we hope you love them as much as we do. Snickers. I'll go Milky Way. Damn, this is a thick guy. Mmm, oh my god. Mmm, oh my god. The caramel. Unbelievable. Honestly, We've had so much chocolate today. I feel sick. Don't wait for lunch. We just <laughs> we literally ate candy it. bars. It's so delicious, mm. though. Let us know which bar you like the best. 
And Let us know if you pick Milky Way or Snickers. Team Milky Way or Team Snickers? Honestly, put a Milky Way in the freezer. I'm gonna put a poll right here. Oh, really? Wow. Amazing. That's what we used Whoa. to do. My dad used to pop them in the freezer all the time. Amazing. That's a great idea. But they're both not vegan, so these are way better. Yeah, You're gonna want to make these. And happy Halloween again. Don't make these for these the trick or treaters costumes. and hand them out. That would be a disaster. I don't know about that. <laughs> but there's some great Halloween candy. We do have a taste test video from last year. Oh, yeah. If you want to check that out, we'll leave I'm it in the comments it. up here and in the description down below. Yeah, in the video, we try vegan Halloween candies with my little cousins. It's really cute. My cousin was really nervous, but she's adorable. So you guys should check it out. And um, I think that about wraps up this video. Anything and else to say? We post videos every Wednesday and there every you Friday. Go. Sometimes Monday, you know, the usual spiel. We're if you're new, crazy. I'm Chris. Jasmine, we videos every week. Love you guys. That's all for today. See you soon. Bye.